And that's right, and McGrath's attorney is confirming his death to 11 News. This comes just three weeks to the day that McGrath was supposed to show up here at District Court in Baltimore for the start of his federal fraud trial. Now, the FBI says that at, at around 630 tonight, agents tracked him to the outskirts of Knoxville, Tennessee, in a commercial area off the Kingston Pike heading south. And that's where the FBI says McGrath was hurt in a shooting involving one of their agents. Now, his attorney Joe Murtha is confirming that he died after that shooting, telling us, quote, the loss of Roy's life was a terrible tragedy. And I think it's important for me to say on his behalf, he never wavered on his innocence. McGrath has been wanted, has been a wanted fugitive for the past three weeks. Federal prosecutors contend that he misled officials at the Maryland Environmental Service, where he served as executive director, by implying former Governor Larry Hogan supported paying him $233,000 in severance to become Hogan's chief of staff. Now, Hogan denied approving that severance, and McGrath resigned as chief of staff in August 2020. He faced fraud and theft charges relating to that payout. Now, just within the last few minutes, we are hearing from former Governor Hogan about McGrath's death. He tells us, quote, you, me and I are deeply saddened by this tragic situation. We're praying for Mr. McGrath's family and loved ones. Now, there are still several questions uh, surrounding McGrath's death, such as what led agents to his location and just the circumstances surrounding his death. But of course, we are working to learn more information about that. And of course, when we get that information, we will bring that to you on air and online at WBALTV.com. But for now, reporting live here in downtown Baltimore, Kyrie Stewart, WBALTV 11 News. Kyrie, thank you, and we are continuing to follow the case surrounding Roy McGrath. Be the first to know of any additional late-breaking details by downloading the free TV11 app.